nick a 4 0 defeat? What was it that went wrong today? Um, if you told me that was going to happen at half time, I wouldn't have believed it. I thought the first half was very even. Um, we gave a penalty away after starting the game really well. Um, and then we missed it. You know, two chances, goal line clearance and a clear header, that's just got to be knocked in from two yards. And you're back in the game and then, you know, they had a couple of chances where he hit the bar and grazed the post and one cleared off the line. So, it, it, listen, it could have been three or four all at half time. Um, second half, we make a change. Ports is obviously struggling with an injury at half time, gave us a shout. Ball gets knocked into the middle of the pitch as soon as Amos is on, and because he's, you know, he's he's just gone into the game first action in the game, and then they break us and score. We need to defend it better after that. Third goal, just poor defending, uh, individual error, and then obviously we get a player sent off, and and obviously it's difficult again like it was last week. I thought, I thought they still one or two gave it a go. I thought Johnny Giles was outstanding, particularly for the last 20 minutes playing up front on his own. Um, they were going to count the attack on us. Um, it, was a, it was a difficult day, you know, young keeper in there because Nathan's obviously in hospital. And the most important thing for me today is that Nathan's okay. You know, meningitis it, it isn't a, a nice illness to have and it's life threatening. So I think that's important. So as a squad, we send our wishes to, and I'm sure the fans do as well, to Nathan. And Luke, you know, listen, we've had to draft him in. We tried to do something a more permanent signing early in the week, but we couldn't get it across the line. We tried to get two centre forwards in this week, but um, two conference teams wouldn't allow their players to play in the coach over the Newton Cup tied. And obviously, we're re suspended, whelps out, we were down to bare bonds. We actually had two subs today in Mark Ains and, and Kieran Kinder John that probably couldn't go on the pitch. Mark's still recovering from glandular fever, and Kieran had a, you know, had a little fitness test out there, and his back was playing up. If he'd have had to go on, he would have gone on, but he'd have been you know, 50% fit. So. It was, it, you know, and, and without Rod being here as well, it, it, it just adds to it. And I, I said in there today, I said sometimes when the manager's not there, it creates a different atmosphere, but it shouldn't. I said when I've not been there, you know, Rod works the way he does and we are our own personalities. Um, try to keep them going. Apologies to the fans for that sort of 20 minute spell in the second half where the game just went away from us. Um, up to that, I didn't think there was too much wrong, but then the, the, the slight worry was, one or two out there that you'd expect to lead uh, didn't, you know what I mean? And as a coach and a manager, even when Rod's here, it's difficult if you haven't got the players out there. And I think, not all of them, but too many of them didn't wear that shirt for 20 minutes as they should do in the, in the second half. Um, listen, we have to take the criticism. At the end of the day, we take the plaudits when we do well and we take the criticism. I think to do with shape. I heard, I heard somebody shout because we're playing um, Scott Fennick up front on his own. Well, yeah, we've got one striker fit. Um, and you're playing, it's, it's funny isn't it, because they played one up front as well. It's just that their wide players caused our full backs more problems than our wide players caused theirs. In the middle of the park, there wasn't too much in it. Two centre halves dealt with Scotty far easier than our centre halves felt with, with Erlad. And obviously, we know what we're missing, and we're doing our utmost to bring it in. People have to stay with us, okay, alright, the FA Trophy, I'm gutted, I'm angry. I don't look like I am now, but I take it to heart. I care about the football club and I care about the future of it. And I think we, we've got to have another response now um, in the league. You know, it's, it's all about the league and obviously we, you know, we'll try and <coughs> win the Essex Cup because we've done that one in the last uh, couple of years in terms of the final and, uh, and winning it in the first season. Um, so, tough day at the office but we have to put things in perspective as always. You know, we can't rant and rave sometimes. Um, you know, I've spoke strongly in there to you know where I stand. Equally, they've, you know, to be fair to some of them, they've spoke strongly there as well. And that's what you need, you need them going for each other a little bit more. It's got to come from them. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times now this season, we've gone behind after having a strong spell of dominance. Yeah. Is it a matter of a bit of confidence seeping out as soon as we go behind? Um, no, I thought, I, I, thought in the, I thought in the first half we responded quite well. I think when you make this bit 2 nil sort of 15 minutes into the second half, um, yeah, it's happened at Concord, um, mistakes and, and you know, you have to say it happened in the second half more than the first half here today. So, you know, we have, we, we, we'll have to look at, we, we analyse everything, you know what I mean? The work that the backroom team, they've been different class again today, you know what I mean? We, we've done our jobs in terms of preparation. Unfortunately, the players didn't deliver their jobs and it was difficult, it was difficult today because 
I knew we needed to make changes, but we didn't have the personnel fit, suspended, coming yeah, at them in on loan to try and make that change. You know what I mean? It's, it's very, very difficult. You're doing a, you're doing a job the hands are behind your back. The keeper struggled. You know, we, we couldn't get any play off the keeper because he's kicking us all down. And that's, that's not me. I don't like to single players out because he's made his debut for us today. He found the pitch tough and he's kicking. Didn't allow us really. It was like, you know, we... <laughs> It wasn't even getting halfway line, so it was coming straight back on. And that's difficult, you know, that's difficult. You said you tried to bring a couple of players in this week, last week. Is that going to possibly happen? Well, yeah, week? listen, we're, we're, they'll be moving. They'll be moving. But what people have to realise is we're, we're trying to do deals with players and, and teams in our league are outbidding us. So, you know, it's not all about the budget, but it helps, OK? And, and the Betsy backed us with what we've got. We know where we're at and we have to try and pull some, some rabbits out, which we will do, we'll find ways. Um, and then, listen, they're not all not, not doing it for us. You know what I mean? There's some good individual. I thought Taylor Miles when he came on was like, um, Amos couldn't start the game just on the pitch because he, he struggles on the Astro Turf pitch. He, every Tuesday, Thursday, when he comes and have to train, train on the Astro Turf, he has to have ice packs because he had a problem last year. And it's, it's that surface, and that's why we didn't go with him today. Um, so, you know, when you look at it, we were really bare bones, but it still should have been good enough to put in a better 20 minutes by in that second half. And that's sometimes what happens. Sometimes you have that spell in the game where, for us at the minute, we tend to concede when we're having the bad spell and we're not scoring when we have the good spells often enough. That's a recipe for losing games at the minute. Yeah, and people can say, you've got to do something about it. We're working overtime to do something about it. Yeah, and like I say, when everything's going rosy, we're playing well and we're sitting near the top of the league, it doesn't mean to say everything's perfect, then we're still looking. We haven't changed. Me and Rod haven't changed the way we are. Stability's built, you know, builds football clubs. And, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, Alex Ferguson nearly lost his job. Yeah, but obviously there's that building phase. And that's what we're trying to do on and off the pitch. Um, we're trying to build the football club. And, and this season, as disappointing as that result is today, we've got to dust ourselves down and move on to the next one. It's all we can do, OK? And, you know, I promise you, we're working all the time to, to make the changes that we need to make. Fennec joins Murphy's suspensions. Could it give an opportunity for Jerry Amu to come back and feature possibly? Well, Jerry Amu's a white man, so totally different position. Um, and Jerry at the minute is doing what Jerry needs. He, he's, he needs to be playing in the Ryman Premier, getting 30, 40 games, getting used yeah. to men's football. He's got ability, um, but he's not centre forward. And Chris Welpdale missed out, I know he's another winger, but has he missed out through injury? Injury, yeah, injury. And could that be one that comes back this after that? We'll have to see, we'll have to see during, during training this week. Um, I, I don't know what he did before the game today. We'll have, we'll have to see. But again, <clears throat> he could have risked it maybe. But this surface, as he said last time he played on it, that's, it, it finds people out. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> for me, I understand why clubs do it, but football should be playing on grass. But that's nothing to do with that result today.